Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji, my friends. God bless you. What a crazy week it's been. So what's the date? It's Tuesday, 24th of March. Boris Johnson announced last night, 8.30, the whole of the UK is going into lockdown. Finally, he should have done this two months ago when the first cases came into the UK. I've been making so much noise in the family groups. And this weekend, um, they sent, the Goddara sent a message saying they're still doing their programs on Sunday. I just felt something in me saying that's not the right decision. So I sent a polite email <clears throat> to all the committee and the Godara Sangat. But they um, didn't make any changes, they didn't cancel the program. They just said that they've ensured the people will sit one meter apart from each other. Now I'm worried about grandparents, elderly people who won't stop going to the Godara who will have some kid run into them, people breathing. They don't, people don't understand how contagious this coronavirus is. You can get it from breathing. So then a doctor in London, Pradeep, Pradeep Kaur, she sent an audio, because she's the lead coronavirus doctor at Imperial Trust. Oh my gosh, it was such an eye-opener. It said exactly the same thing that the Italian doctor I read about two, two or three weeks ago was saying. The hospitals are full, the elderly are coming, there's no machine to treat them. If they have to choose, they choose the younger people, the older people are just dying in absolute agony because they can't breathe. The only cure for people who get uh, critical, like elderly people, is prevention. They must stay at home. So I called mom on Sunday morning and I said, Mom, you def don't go to the Godwara. They haven't listened. They haven't closed it. You know that, don't you? Don't go. I've been telling mom and dad for the last two or three weeks, stay inside. Don't go anywhere. Don't wait for the government to tell you. So mom said, Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go for 10 minutes. I'm just going to go for 10 minutes. I then spent a the next hour explaining to my mom that just by talking to people, by touching something, you know, it's, you're, she's in a high risk, 70 year old. She'll come home, my dad, 81, they're high risk. Most people are the goddaughter, elderly, they're high risk, they've got health problems. So thankfully she listened. Then I went round for the last time. I said, it's the last time I'm going. I set them up an online shopping. I set up Zoom app so we can stay in touch over the video. Said to the family group, no one go to mom and dad. They need to shut that door, keep it shut. It's only, I said to my mom, it's only for, just think of it as only for two or three months. That is God's will that you sit at home, we sit at home and do our like the yogis in the caves, we've got to sit at home and do our meditation by ourselves in our house with our family. That's our Sangat. Take it as a positive. So thankfully she listened. Now four of us are at home, me, the girls, and the one person who's still going out is Devinda. Because her, her work have said they still need to come in. I said to Devinda, she's putting us, us all at risk now. <clears throat> so she needs to tell them she's not going to come. So thankfully, hopefully today she'll come back and say she's got unpaid leave. Although the government did say they're going to fund 80% fund of people's salaries. But it doesn't matter about that. I said to her, we can always earn money. Right now, we need to lock the door, stay inside. Everyone who's listening to this in the UK, in the rest of the world, you may not be in lockdown yet, but there's coronavirus everywhere. Get ready. Take it seriously. In the UK, even this weekend, parks were full of people, young people, enjoying themselves. The tubes are still crowded. They're packed. There's no way this coronavirus will go if people keep spreading it. One person can spread it to 10 people just by talking. Yesterday, and the thing that really shocked me again was a voicemail from a voice recording on, on a WhatsApp from a, a British lady in Spain messaging her family back here. 
and she was horrified that the UK hadn't gone on lockdown. She said, the longer we wait to go on lockdown, the longer we will be in lockdown because it'll take longer for, pe for this virus to f finish. She was saying Spain will be in lockdown for two months, but we will be in lockdown for four months, even though Boris has just said three weeks. It's not going to be three weeks. Tell the truth, I've been doing my meditation, I've been singing to God with all my heart, it's made me feel a lot closer to God. I'm not even singing for myself anymore. I'm just singing for God, the most gracious, most kind, most compassionate, the destroyer of fears, the destroyer of sickness, that He bless us. Because of our karma, we suffer. Because of His grace, we are healed. Because of our karma, our deeds, whatever we have done, we're attracting this negativity in the form where negativity attracts negativity so when sickness comes death comes darkness comes and behind that the the demons uh, the demons the couriers of death whatever's on that side the forces of destruction it's like a story of guru nanak dev ji when him and bairmar danna ji on their travels, they were sitting down and Bhai Mardana Ji asked Guru Nanak Dev Ji why so many innocent people get killed? Because at that time even the, there was an invasion of India by the emperor, uh, Mughal Emperor Babur and Guru Nanak Dev Ji wrote about how much you know, the, he described in great detail how the women with their you know, the, the, the red markings, uh, the gold jewellery, the beautiful dresses. Everyone is happy, comfortable, enjoying their lives. But then when the Mughals came, rape, pillage, destroyed the villages, he described it in a lot of detail. And then Guru Nanak Dev Ji in that verse said, prayed to God, you know, if a tiger, I think something like, if a tiger attacks a tiger, one wins, one loses, everyone thinks it's a fair fight. But if a tiger attacks a sheep, everyone thinks, why did the poor sheep get killed? And at the same time, Guru Nanak Dev Ji was praying to God, why are these innocent people being destroyed? Why did they, what have they done? And then when they were sitting there, by Mardana Ji, he asked Guru Nanak Dev Ji, why does God, why do innocent people get hurt? And then at that moment, there were some ants, forest ants. And as Bhai Mardana Ji was talking, one of them bit him on his, uh, on his leg. And he took his arm and he scraped his thigh to scrape away the ant. And he flicked it away. And then Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, look what you just did. He said, yes, uh, that ant was biting me. But then he said, look. There was other ants around as well on your leg and you've killed them all, not just the one that bit you. So the way we were explaining it was that whichever company we keep, the Sangat we keep, you know, we're also going to get, reap whatever that group is going to reap. So karma plays at individual level, what I sow, what I, what I, sow, what I reap. The culture, the th kind of thinking, the way we're brought up in any country, in any group, that's also the, the thinking of the group. So now in Europe, some countries, they're more atheists than believers. Um, you know, and some countries, people can be more selfish. You know, um, look at what China's doing now. Everybody knows the virus started there, but they're on a massive campaign to put false information on the, uh, their Chinese ambassadors around the world are saying, oh, America started it, Italy started it. So when a whole country is also operating in the lower consciousness, making wrong choices, doing wrong things, then when the sickness, when the death, when the hand of God comes to destroy it all, then the ones who associate with them will also be wiped out. That's as much as I understand. 
in sharing that with you, hopefully maybe it puts things into a bit more context that even in pain, there's God is doing good. Even the punishments that come, they're only to wake us up. They're only to wake us up. Wake up, people, wake up. This is not why you're here on planet Earth, to just chase after money, to be corrupt, to be selfish, to forget God. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, Earth is a temple, God's temple, Tarti Taramshala. We came here to learn about God, to pray God, to pray to God, to do good deeds and to do His name and go to Him with glorious faces. If the world is not doing that, then this is why it's called the Dark Age. Okay? And in every Dark Age, Guru Nanak, good people came like Guru Nanak Dev Ji, like Jesus, like um, the Gurus of the past. And the greater the darkness, so the times of Guru Gobind Singh, the wars, the battles, the Gurus themselves were martyred, so many saints were killed. So the greater the darkness, then also the greater the light inside the divine souls. So if you're feeling anxious, worried, and the constant news is just terrifying, hearing the messages from other countries is absolutely terrifying, how people, are, old people are dying in hospitals, not just old babies, young people, 12-year-old girl, fully fit in America, on ventilators. People are dying in horrible ways, in horrible, excruciating pain. If this is not the dark time, the extreme dark time of yeah, which can envelop the whole world. If we are living it. We are living what we've seen in the history books. So right now, you, the other side we saw in the history books is step up. Cometh the time, cometh the moment, cometh the man. So this is get up, do your simran. Remember God. Every time you say satnam, you bring light into the world. Every time you say Sing God's praises, you bring light in the world. Every time you do a good deed, you bring light in the world. Every time you be positive with your family, you bring light in the world. If people are crumbling around you, if they're full of darkness, worry and fear, speak light to them, speak to them positive, say good things, sing, 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 satanam, satanam, satanam. Pray to God with all your heart, pray to Him, please forgive us, we've made so many mistakes, you're the kindest, you're the most compassionate. Please forgive us, day and night, every breath, all the time, knock on the door, knock on the door, knock on the door until God comes, shines His grace, opens His hands, looks at us with love and forgives us. Satanam, Satanam, Satanam. So UK is in lockdown. Three weeks, we're all at home. Stay safe, everyone. Shut your doors. Take it seriously. If you have to go to the shops, if you have to go outside, wear gloves. Do not talk to people, stay two meters away, walk well around everyone. Coronavirus does not care, it's such an enemy. This is a war, think of it as a war. Lock your doors, be safe. Look after your families, look after your neighbors, do what you can. Satanam, 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 God bless all.